Valued for their recreational opportunities and prized for their scenic beauty, our nation's lakes, rivers, and bays are precious natural resources. Many of these waterways also provide significant economic opportunities through commercial fishing and navigation. Unfortunately, below some of their tranquil and flowing surfaces lie sediments that have become contaminated by hazardous materials. Toxic byproducts of industrial manufacturing accumulated in soils, sands, and organic matter have impacted the delicate ecosystems of our waterways. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency estimates that 10% of our lake, river, and bay sediments contain enough chemicals to contaminate fish and impair the health of people and wildlife that eat them. Health concerns have prompted states to prohibit or limit fish consumption for 15% of the country's lakes and 5% of its rivers. The cleanup of contaminated sediments is a complicated issue with far-reaching economic and environmental impacts. One successful approach is environmental dredging to remove contaminated sediments from our waterway. Traditionally, dredging has been used to keep shipping channels deep enough to navigate. Unlike navigational dredging, which stresses the quick removal of the sediments. Environmental dredging is more precise and places greater emphasis on environmentally sound removal. During environmental dredging, every effort is made to control and minimize the re-suspension of small sediment particles in the water. Environmental dredging is done in carefully delineated areas that limit the amount of material to be dredged. To protect against resuspension, work areas can be enclosed or bordered with silt curtains, specifically engineered barriers that float above the water surface and extend to the bottom. There are a number of proven environmental dredge designs already in use, but virtually all fall into two basic categories, hydraulic or mechanical. A hydraulic environmental dredge can best be described as a gigantic vacuum cleaner that first loosens and then suctions sediments from the floor of a waterway. A centrifugal pump suctions while a cutter agitates the sediment. The head is shielded to prevent sediment resuspension and minimize inflow of excess water. Some designs also include movable shutters and grates for additional protection. The precise electronic cut angle and swing speed is monitored at all times. The unit can also be fitted with video and sonar equipment used to monitor for precision and any sediment resuspension. If real-time monitoring reveals turbidity or cloudiness in the water, the operation can be immediately shut down and only restarted when the problem is corrected. The dredged sediment would then be pumped through a pipeline to an onshore facility for dewatering and treatment. Dewatering reduces the volume prior to shipment and meets disposal needs. The wastewater is treated and returned clean to the waterway. The remaining solids can then be treated using one of many proven remediation technologies. Mechanical environmental dredging takes a somewhat different approach. It uses an overlapping sealed clamshell style bucket to scoop up the contaminated sediments. Like the hydraulic system, the unit can also be fitted with video and sonar equipment to enhance precision and provide monitoring capability. Topside, the open bucket is positioned by computer to precise coordinates, then lowered into the water. During its descent, a venting system allows water to pass through the bucket, minimizing sediment resuspension. Near the bottom, the bucket is paused momentarily to confirm target and penetration depth. The bucket is then lowered to the bottom and closed, making a precise horizontal cut. During closing, the sides overlap, effectively sealing all sediment in the bucket. The bucket is then raised to the surface just above the water line where it is paused to allow water to drain from the vents. The sediments are then released into a receiving container, usually a hopper barge. The bucket can also be vibrated to shake off any materials clinging to its surface. 
The empty bucket is rinsed in a tank on a barge and vibrators are again activated. The clean bucket is then raised and positioned for the next target area. Here too, the final step for sediments in the hopper barge is dewatering and treatment. Whether to select hydraulic or mechanical environmental dredging depends on the types of materials to be dredged, water conditions and depth, as well as sediment depth targeted for removal. Both techniques use similar approaches, such as silt curtains and real-time monitoring to control and measure any resuspended sediment. Monitoring stations are usually positioned upstream of the work area for baseline measurement, close to the dredging area, and downstream from the work area in front of the silt curtain. A fourth station can also be placed farther downstream for additional measurements. Again, if resuspension is detected, the operation can be immediately stopped. With the right equipment, careful monitoring, and some time, environmental dredging can restore a thriving ecosystem and economy to contaminated waterways.